Hello, this is Lucas. Welcome to another Java Effects tutorial. This is going to be a very quick video. I'm just going to show you what a flow pane is. Um, it's another type of layout. Uh, so we went over all the other layouts in the last few videos, and this is going to be the very last one. So I have created a flow pane right here, and then we just set root as the new flow pane, and then we just add it to our scene. And then we call this load method here. So at the moment, it just looks like this. There's nothing there, right? So with the flow pane, what we can do is we can set the gap between every single um, element that we add into it. So for example, we do root. By the way, root is just the name of my flow pane, okay? So we can do root dot set v gap, right? And this is... All this is going to do is just set uh, the size of the gap uh, between every single element vertically, okay? And then we can do, obviously, we can do the exact same thing for uh, the horizontal gap. So we do set h gap, and then we can just pass in uh, any double. So I'm going to do 50 just so we can see the difference between the vertical gap and the horizontal gap, okay? And then the very last thing is we need to just add in a few elements so we can see. So I'm going to call root again, and we're going to do get children, and I'm going to do add all, and then we can just add in all of uh, these elements here. So let's just add these, not in order, because I want to add it a bit differently. So let's add first name in first, then we add in tf1, let's add in last name, let's add in tf2, and then finally we'll add in the button. Okay, and then let's run this. And just like that, we have our flow pane. So you can see we have set the vertical gap as 20. So this is the ver vertical gap from this label, from the bottom of this label to the top of this uh, text field. And then the horizontal gap is just a gap between every single element. So it'll be from the end of this label to the start of this uh, text field. You can see this is a size 20 and this is a size 50. Now, you might be asking, well, what is the difference between a flow pane and any other pane? Uh, why, why, sh why would we use a flow pane? Well, the good thing with a flow pane is if we extend this out, you can see that once it gets bigger, once, once this next element can fit up here, what it will do, it will just get placed up here. And then same thing with the button. And um, obviously we can just do the other do it the other way just like that okay so that's the flow pane it's a very easy way just to allow us just in, instead of adding a lot of css we can just use a flow pane okay you can see the way it just goes down just like that it's a very neat way of doing it All right so that's about it for a flow pane this is this was a very short video but i hope this video has helped to understand what a flow pane is so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one peace out